David Simon was, uh, was born in a northern suburb of Chicago, Illinois, and at a very early age realized that his dharma was to be a healer. All right, can everybody come around together in a circle? Um, around the fire pits. This next stage of the ritual is to transform the energy that we've been carrying into greater freedom. By his uh, late teens, he was teaching yoga and meditation. And by the time that he graduated medical school, he was totally in the zone of healing others and touching so many with his sweetness and his brilliance. It was at that time that he became the fusion of modern Western science and the healing arts of the East. And he has continued to flow that through the creation of the Chopra Center, through all of his teachings, and pretty much through every encounter that he has. What am I holding on to from my past that's no longer serving me? Set that highest intention. Formulate it. Make it important to you. Take a few moments. Get that intention of healing and transformation deep in your heart and soul. My dad's so good at just being there behind the scenes to kind of support everything, even though he's been right there alongside Deepak this whole time. Uh, David is uh, a brother. He's my best friend. And so I don't know what I'm going to do, to tell you the truth. Hmm. I love you. Love you too, Deepak. Yeah. He's been everyone else's doctor for as long as I've known, you know? I mean. Deepak Chopra, Marianne Williamson, Debbie Ford, the world's greatest thought leaders, the people that have been responsible for inspiring millions of people when, when they get sick or when something goes wrong in their life because they're human, they go to my dad. To our dear friend, our mentor, our father, our brother, our son, husband, our teacher, our doctor, our Sufi master, our author, our healer, our confidant, our guide, our storyteller, and one of the most powerful translators of timeless wisdom. He has taught that ultimately the best use of a physician's knowledge is to teach people to heal themselves. He has taught that before a word passes from our lips, we should ask ourselves the question, is it true, is it necessary, and is it kind? And he has taught that we are divinely entitled to seek happiness and to be happy. It's our goal, it's our hope, it's our expectation that we can help you. We can help you lighten your load, free your heart. It's important that we don't waste time. Life is short. And we deserve to be happy. But there's no reason to not be happy. It's amazing how much transformation can take place if we're open to the possibility. What am I holding on to from my past that's no longer serving me? Much of what we carry with us is really a choice, and we can make a new choice. We can create anything in our lives, and if we're going to have the power to create anything, why not create something that's wonderful?
It's just amazing, isn't it? Like the whole experience of life and death and love and healing and time. And all on this little tiny planet. You know, this little tiny dot of dust. It's so wild. Above all, he is a healer. The mind, body, soul physician of this millennium. Put on this earth to lead us from darkness into light and to teach us how to be the best versions of ourselves. David Simon, you have healed millions of us around the world, and we are your legacy. everyone could open their eyes and, and stand up in silence. And I want us to do this moving meditation together um, using the music of Fanula Gill from, from Ireland. So if you could bring your hands together. And now just very gently begin to move the energy from your arms into a circle, moving around, and then coming back to your heart, and then moving it again, moving it around into a circle. So just get that rhythm going, allowing the love and the energy and the peace and the harmony and the compassion to just begin to flow through your body. And then once you have that rhythm going, close your eyes and just let that movement flow. And then we'll just allow ourselves to move into that beautiful space where the energy circulates between our personal and our universal. The day has vanished and left us behind. Okay, let's put our awareness in the heart. And uh, for the next minute or so, just uh, feel gratitude and thanks to David for having created this amazing place, having been the amazing leader that he's been. Secrets of darkness are 